60 years ago, the dogs Belga and Strelka performed an orbital flight. They became the first living beings to fly around the Earth and safely return home. By the end of the 1950s, the USSR was ready to send the first human into space. But scientists needed confidence that a living being can survive such a flight. So they decided that man's best friends, dogs, will pave the way for human space exploration. In 1957, scientists picked out 12 stray female dogs and started training them for the future flights. For months, the dogs were taught to live in confined spaces and endure extreme acceleration. Among those who performed the best in training were Belka and Strelka. On August 19, 1960, they were sent into space aboard the Sputnik 5 spacecraft. Most of the flight went pretty well. The condition of the canine cosmonauts was closely monitored by devices that measured blood pressure, heart rate, brain activity, and many other perimeters. On the fourth orbit around the Earth, Belka suddenly became very anxious and felt sick for some unknown reason. Because of this accident, the flight of Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, was limited to only one orbit. On August 20, 1960, Sputnik 5 successfully landed after completing 17 orbits around the Earth. Belka and Strelka spent more than 25 hours in space. Several months after the flight, Strelka gave birth to six healthy puppies. One of them, called Pashinga, was given as a gift to the U.S. President John Kennedy. Belka and Strelka lived the rest of their lives on the territory of one of the Soviet institutes. People all over the world will always remember their heroic flight that made an invaluable contribution to our knowledge about space and paved us the way to the stars.